You remember Dr. Love? This is a story from quite a few years ago, six years ago, in fact. Uh, Malachi Love Robinson. The name, the name might not ring a bell, but I have a feeling the photo just might. Let's bring this up. This is Dr. Love himself, uh, quite youthful, baby-faced doctor. Um, one part of that description is true, the other is not. Uh, he had back in 2016 uh, begun the New Birth, New Life Medical Center and Urgent Care. And you can see him listed there on the website for that medical organization. There was just one issue, he's not a doctor. He's 18, he's uh, a go-getter. Uh, you know, he rises and or grinds, I'll give him that, but he wasn't a doctor. What he was was a scam artist. Posing as a doctor, he stole $30,000 from a patient in her 80s, which is just so terrible. An additional $20,000 from an actual doctor who should know better. But anyway, he was arrested after an investigation by the Department of Health and Human Services for performing a medical examination on an undercover agent. He defended himself on Good Morning America a few days later saying he never said he was a doctor. Quote, there are many types of degrees out there that just because someone has the title doctor in front of their name does not necessarily imply MD, I guess. But I think you know what you're doing. Anyway, later that year, while on bond for the scams he was already being investigated for, he was arrested in Virginia after he tried to buy a $35,000 Jaguar with a stolen credit card from an older woman. He received a 48 month combined sentence, but eventually most of that time passed and he was released from prison back in 2019. Well, you're probably wondering what has he been up to? And I'm glad to say in this case that uh, you know a, a brief stint in prison can result in rehabilitation and uh, you can truly change as a person. In theory, it didn't happen to him though. According to court documents in 2020, he was working for United States of Freight where he instructed customers to pay directly to an account registered under his name and Venmo and PayPal him instead of the company, stealing a bunch of money from the company he was working for. He was sentenced to more than 28 months in prison last week after pleading guilty to grand theft and organized scheme to defraud. He made it a couple years on the outside and then I guess the appeal of some quick, easy money was just too much. Poor Dr. Love is gonna be going back to prison. What do you think, Chair? Yeah, I gotta highlight the back end of that last quote. <clears throat> Excuse me, he said he pled guilty to grand theft, an organized scheme to defraud. He has to organize these things. He put together a website, he puts together payment options. He uh, talks to people, he convinces them of this and that. He has a whole business structure put in place to look real, I guess enough for some folks to be fooled by it. I'm sure everyone wouldn't have been. Enough to fool enough people to think and it's all real. The only thing left, is for it to be real. This is a lot of work. Every time you see someone scam, or even you know, we talk Donald Trump so much because he's one of the biggest scammers in the country. So mm -hmm. they put through all this work to scam people. You can put together probably 25% more work to actually do some things legitimately. Yep. You have an approach that you know how to, to communicate to people, to expand yourself, to promote yourself, to do, that's work. This is a lot of work to be a scammer. How about you do something that's reputable? It's still yeah. work. It's not like you sat back and went, oh, this this uh, website's gonna form itself. Uh, this picture I'm gonna take to make myself look like a doctor is gonna take itself. The jacket that I have to put on to do so. The money payment options I have to uh, form and put together and get people's credit cards and information. All has to be put together. Bro, just do something for real. Just do it, yeah. It's work. I think he, I think he likes the rush. I think, he look, he's clearly intelligent. He clearly, like at 18 doing this, that is crazy. Um, and, he, and he poses for a damn good picture, <laughs> but just this isn't the way, this isn't the way, we'll see. So here's, here's what I want everyone watching this to do. Check back in two years and we're gonna see how he does. <laughs> Hopefully the third time will be the He's term. gonna be swearing in on a yeah. book he didn't read when he gets into the Congress as a Republican. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.